Hello everyone. In this video, we have this nice problem. We have 24 to the power 1 minus 1 on k, and this is equal to 3. And we have to find the value of 2 to the power k. We will solve this problem in a step-by-step -step manner without missing any step. But before we begin, if you are new here, please do me a favor by subscribing to this channel. It is free, there is no charges on that, and you can change your mind at any time. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Now let's get started. First of all, I'll combine this exponent over here. And to do that, they need to have the same denominator. Okay, so I'll rewrite this exponent as k on k, which is the 1 over here, then minus 1 on k. And this is equal to 3. All right, so now since they have the same denominator, we can easily combine them. So we have 24 to the power k minus 1 over k, and this is equal to 3. All right, so the next step is that we are going to take the k power on the both sides of the equation. All right, so here we have 24 to the power k minus 1 over k times k, and this is equal to 3k. All right, so straight away you can see that this k will cancel this. Now we have 24 to the power k minus 1 is equal to 3 to the power k. Okay, and note that this 24 to the power k minus 1 is also the same as 24 to the power k over 24, and this is equal to 3 to the power k. All right, so now let's cross multiply. So we have 24 to the power k is equal to 24 times 3 to the power k. Okay, so from here we can divide each side by 3 to the power k so that this one will take care of this. Now, if you have a to the power m over b to the power m, this is the same as a over b all to the power m, okay? So I'll rewrite this in this form. So we have 24 on 3 all to the power k, and this is equal to 24, all right? So from here, 24 divided by 3 is nothing but 8. Then this k and this is equal to 24. Since we are looking for 2 to the power k, I'll rewrite this 8 in this form. All right? So from here, we have 2 to the power 3 to the power k is equal to 24. All right? So if you have a to the power m n, this is also the same as a to the power n m, okay? So I will interchange 3 and k. So we have 2 to the power k 3 over here, and this is equal to 24. Since we are looking for 2 to the power k, I will take cube root on both sides, all right? So that this one will cancel this. Now we have 2 to the power k is equal to the cube root of 24, all right? Now we know 2 to the power k, but we can simplify this further. This is also the same as 24 to the power 1 third, okay? This is the same as cube root, and this is also the same as 8 times 3 all to the power one third. All right. Now I can rewrite this as two to the power three times three or to the power one third. Okay. Now this is also the same as two to the power k is equal to two exponent three times one on three times three to the power one on three. So that this three will cancel this. Now we have 2 to the power k is equal to 2 times 3 to the power 1 third. And this is also the same as 2 to the power k is equal to 2 times the cube root of 3. Alright, so this is our final answer.
I hope you found this video useful. You can also use log to solve this problem. So feel free to comment down below if you are able to use that. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next video.